Hey guys, Scott with Modern Classic Moto here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on installing this Shorty exhaust system by Kelpie Custom Moto. It's a really sharp looking exhaust. As you see here, the muffler that it comes with has a gloss black cap with a kind of a matte or a sap black finish on the rest of the pipe. The reason why I'm installing this today is because one, I've always wanted a black exhaust system for my bike to kind of tie the whole look together. And two, because I've never been very happy um, with this SE Project exhaust. It was a lot quieter than I thought it was going to be originally. And also after having a dyno tuned, I found that this exhaust is actually very restrictive. It wasn't getting the performance that I thought it would. Even with a full tune, having a dyno tuned multiple times, it gets less horsepower to this exhaust than the bike does from the factory. So looks wise, it's awesome. It's one of the most popular exhaust for these bikes. However, if you're looking to also kind of boost your performance or at least get the same performance, I would highly suggest I'm going with a different exhaust system. I had to order the stainless steel pipes and Cerakote them myself because I have an active tune system on my bike, but that requires a larger O2 bung. When I originally got this, it was stainless steel, having to weld that new bung on there, and I Cerakoted over it. So on my SE Project exhaust, I had to do the same thing. Had a bung welded onto the pipe here for the larger O2 sensor. The factory O2 sensor on these bikes only changes the fuel air ratio at idle. This active tune O2 sensor will actually tune the bike while it's running at all RPMs. All right, here's all the pieces it comes with. Came with the header pipes. Again, these were stainless steel and I Cerakoted them myself. It was my first time ever doing Cerakote, so I noticed now a couple spots I could have gotten a little bit more. I'm not too worried about it. Then you got your mid pipe here. Again, I had the original bun cut off and a new one welded on it. And then Cerakoted black to match the muffler. You got the muffler with the glass black cone. Got a really nice look to it. And then last but not least, you've got all the hardware to install the pipe. All right, now I'm gonna get this new exhaust installed and see you guys when I'm all done. I had already removed the muffler hanging hardware prior to filming. It's always a good idea to look into using fresh new exhaust gaskets whenever replacing your exhaust. There we have it. Turned out pretty sweet. Love the way it looks. My first impressions are, I probably put about a thousand miles on the bike since installing the exhaust. I love the way it sounds. It did take a little bit to get used to just because I was used to a much quieter exhaust, but I, I personally like the louder, deeper sound. Um, you can purchase the exhaust with an optional DB killer, bring it down a little bit in, in terms of noise. However, um, it does affect the performance very slightly. So if you're looking to max the performance, go without, but if you want it to be a little bit quieter, not piss off the neighbor so much, definitely get that DB killer with it as well. Also, you can order the header pipes in the black to match the muffler. You don't have have to manually circoat them yourselves. The only reason I did that is because I had to weld that bung on there and if I ordered them black then I would have had to cut the bung off, have it welded on and then have it repainted all over again. So I figured I might as well just order the stainless ones and, and paint them from scratch. I will say that I noticed in the first probably 50 miles that there was some uh, insulation starting to come out of the muffler. I don't know if insulation is the right word. It's like the stuff that's uh, packed inside the muffler. That was starting to come out between the gloss cap and the, the muffler main pipe itself. I had quickly emailed and sent pictures over to to the owner, Jock, and he responded right away and sent me out a new one. He really stands behind his product, which is awesome. Great customer service there. Uh, one other thing I did want to say is that I had mentioned earlier in the video that you can get more horsepower from the bike from the factory than this bike with the SC Project exhaust. And what I meant by that is if you take the bike from the factory with the stock exhaust and have it dyno tuned with the Snorkel Delete, you'll have more horsepower than you would with the same modifications on the SC Project exhaust. That just goes to show you how restrictive the SC Project exhaust really is. Aside from that, I highly recommend this exhaust. I like it much 
much better than my SC Project Exhaust, uh, both performance-wise and looks-wise, it really delivers. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please hit that like button. If you like my other content, please subscribe. And if you have any other thoughts on the video or other things you guys want to see, please comment down below. And until next time.